Hey, hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this episode we are going to be looking at um, how to learn our words and keep the content fresh in our minds. This is a pretty simple step. There's no other way that works better than repetition at this stage. Guys, by now, your monologue should be away from you and you should just be repeating all those words over and over again. Um, and you will know where you've gone wrong because by now it should be in you. I've written my monologue about four times, so it kind of feels it's in me right now. Um, and ways to keep the content fresh is just repeating those words and repeating them not in a performance level, but just talking them and just reading through the lines and not even pausing. Like say the lines as fast as you can, um, say the whole piece as fast as you can. Um, that is a method that uh, that works so well. Just repeating it, repeating it. And when you stumble, just carry on because there's going to be a place where you're always going to um, find a place in your monologue that is a bit difficult and you always stop there and then go back. By stopping and going back, you're forgetting about the rest of the monologue. Um, and when you get there, it's going to be so difficult to um, to get it right. So I suggest learn those words, repeat them, repeat them, repeat them, say them as fast as you can and just push through. When you make a mistake, keep it going and then go back to the top. Incorporate it into your everyday, everyday tasks. Uh, when you're going for a walk, uh, in the shower, I like singing my words sometimes, make it into a song. It's just so important to remember the, remember the words at a cellular level. Because we need to make this character real. And we need this character needs to know what they are saying. I mean, how many times have you been unprepared for um, a speech or an oral at school? I know, I know, I've been unprepared. Because that's because I didn't know the content. I wasn't clear in what I was saying. When people know what they are saying, the confidence levels skyrocket. So know what you're saying. That's why it's so important. Um... If you could know your monologue first thing at 3 a.m. in the morning, someone splashes you with water, you wake up, say your words right there and then. That's how deep you need to know your words. That's how well you need to know your words. And over here, it's a good opportunity to check at your pronunciation of all the words. Every single word counts. The writers were intentional, guys. Trust in the writers. Trust the whole process. And here, you know, look at natural speech patterns how you would just talk. Um, say the monologue just at a talking level, like how we are now. Say it over and over again. Um, and then go into performance level later. This is just all methods to get these words stuck in your brain. And also at this stage of learning the words, you need to, by now, um, you definitely know who your character is. And if your character has a different accent than you, if it is an American, if it is a British person, um, this is when you really need to nail down your accent work. When you're practicing your words, do it in the accent. Um, I've got an American um, accent that I'll be doing in my monologue. So yeah, do the accents. Um, ask your parents to get you an accent coach if they can find someone or look online on YouTube for accent tutorials uh, for different accents in the world. And it's learning how to talk like someone else uh, or, or rather a different nationality is so much fun. It's so much fun. And um, I, I encourage it. It's a challenge. So I think that's all I've had to say about learning words. Repetition is, is key here. And last thing, if you do have someone at home, ask them to take the piece of paper with your monologue and uh, you read it to them and they'll tell you where you've gone wrong. And um, yeah, if you are comfortable enough to perform for them, I think that'll, that'll be great. If you have someone spotting your words for you, um, you are slowly getting into a performance space with them. So um, it's really fun if you are comfortable with um, reading your monologue to someone at this stage. So I really do suggest that and learning your words. Um, yeah. And that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys are still having some fun and I've still got your attention. Um, 
the next episode will be the last one before my performance um, and we will just be looking at preparation for shooting your monologue. All right. Cheerio.